I've got a little set um, here that I've had for ages um, and I actually bought it oh, way back when I had Storm. Oh, it's not going to sit up now, is it? Um, anyway, and it's this little set here. It's from Pumpkin Patch, I think. Yep, Pumpkin Patch. I just hope this hat fits his head because he's got a pretty big head. It's this little um, raccoon and the little mittens and the little slippers, booties, whatever. So anyway, I just, I've been dying to put it on someone um, since I got it, but I've just been putting it off and um, it's going to be hot here soon, so... Um, yeah, I, I just want to put it on someone before it gets hot. I probably could put it on when it's hot too, it wouldn't matter. You're not going to feel it, but you know how it is. I love this baby, I really do. Um, you know that question that was going around, I think it was, um, Baby Nadia? That put it out there I think sorry if I've gotten that wrong it was a while ago um, if you could only choose one baby who would it be I love all my babies and I I flat out refuse to do that one because I honestly cannot just pick one baby I I'm terrible I if I had to I'd just pick them all up and you know I just would not be able to just have one of these babies. Um, but honestly, um, I, I I really love my Malloy boys. I really, really do. And I waited so, so long to get Jack. And he was always... Um, him and Janica were the first two silicones I'd ever seen. Um, Jack was the one that I wanted. Um, I didn't really, really, really want Janica. Um, but um, Jack, I really, really, I was dead set on getting him, no matter what. <laughs> um, but anyway, the point is... Um, this little boy, every time I look at him, he makes me smile. It's his little face, his little eyes, he's got beautiful hair. Um, and I pick him up and he's just, he's it. I have to say, he is it. I, um, just earlier, um, I was hanging on to him like I picked him up and checked him over and because I haven't done a video with him for a little while so I just picked him up and I find every time I go near this boy I start talking to him I don't know if it is the open eyes or what but he makes me talk to him <laughs> um yeah I don't know he's just such a sweet little boy he's everything in a baby that I would want and I think a lot of it has to do he reminds me of my my last born my baby <laughs> he reminds me so much of him um, I guess that could have something to do with it I'm not sure but look at that face I mean he is the sweetest sweetest little boy and I was just sitting here holding him and his hair was you know, it, it just sticks up willy-nilly, but you don't have to do anything with it. Um, I have sprayed it with coconut oil, um, and then I just wipe it down. You know, the oil, it dries really quickly. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. I just wipe it down, and um, now I don't know if these, I think these mittens are extra small. I know the hat is extra small, so, but I'm going to give it a good, Red hot go, aren't we, Wyatt? Because I think the cheeky, the cheeky face of this little 
raccoon or whatever it is. I think it's a raccoon. Just reminds me of him. So I think this little set is perfect for him because it's cheeky like him and it's such a sweet little face. Just like my Wyatt. Actually, I might leave these on. You're not going to see them under the booty just to protect his toes while it's going in here. Um, because he does have funky toes. So. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. I was going to put a white onesie on him, but I couldn't find one. Actually, I've got a white side snap t-shirt, but I found this one and I thought, well, that'll be just as good. Because the colour of the the booties and that is kind of, has a yellow hue to it. Oh, that looks like socks and then shoes. Oh, my sweet little boy. He's so sweet. Gee, so sweet. So, yeah, getting back to actually what I was saying before. That whole um, one baby. I'm sorry to everyone else in my nursery. I love you all dearly. But this little boy here. I strongly believe. That he would definitely be. One of. The first I would. Save. If I had to. Like, I know that wasn't the question. Because I can't just pick one baby. I, I honestly can't. But if I put it into perspective that. Um, who would I save first? He would definitely be the f one of the first I would save. Definitely. Yeah, this hat. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have chose, um, oh, he looks like, uh, Davy Crockett. He just needs that little tail at the back. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. It is too small though. He's got a big head, this boy got a big head so this little boy um, one of the features I really love on him is his face and his eyes and I have brown eyes as well so you know he could definitely be my baby <laughs> um, but it's the way his head moves um, I would have to say out of all of my babies he feels the more realist most real yes I'll get it right yet um the way his head moves see he goes back his head's attached there's no ball joint no nothing but um his head just his head falls forward like that and his head falls back like that so when you pick him up his head falls back and I know you, you do have to be careful when they're attached but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his neck at all. But I do hold his neck. But just the feel how he feels when you pick him up or when you're holding him is the best. It's the most real. My my little Jack and Eli, they feel really real as well. Really real. Um, <laughs> I have to admit, I love my Claire Taylor babies. I really do. But the way she sculpts the um, the head, the attached attachment on the head, and my Anne hung baby is the same. Um, it's more like this. Like their head flops forward, but it doesn't flop back. And I like the backward movement more than the front movement. I would rather them flop back than forward. But anyway, that's my little man in his little raccoon outfit under that says baby patch his little slippies and his little mittens and his cute here <laughs> oh, Davy Crockett oh, he's so sweet he's definitely my baby definitely my baby he just looks real he feels real the only thing I would change probably is the way his legs are so far out, like so far apart. That's probably the only thing I would change. But when you're holding him like this, it you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, 
because his head turns and see how his head's like crooked there that's because he's so soft and it just looks real anyway I love this little man he would definitely be one of um, the babies I would keep definitely he ain't going anywhere definitely definitely not He's just too cute. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And I will share more with him another day. I'm going to snuggle him now because he's so cute. I can't help it. Okay, guys. Bye.